What's up y'all, it's Heat, and for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I organize my drum kits for easier access in the FL Studio browser. So, to show you guys, um, what I have open is my drums folder. As you can see, it says drums right here. And in this folder, I have four subfolders. I have the Heat folder, and this has basically sounds I've collected over the years. Um, this is my personal collection, and then this is just drum recordings I got from music classes I took in college and then I have bundles so basically bundles are just um, packs that I have from producers and websites um, when I have multiple kits from producers and websites I'll put them into a folder so for example I have big white beats and inside the folder I have multiple um, kits from him so that's basically what all these bundles are and then the drums folder is basically the same thing as the bundles but um, when I don't have multiple kits from a producer or a drum kit website I'll throw it into the drums folder um, as you can see here I do have multiple kits from some people and before I was um, organizing my drums I had all of them in this drums folder and as you can see I obviously didn't finish organizing it but if I were to organize it right now um, if I wanted to put all these Anno Domini kits right here into the bundles folder what I would do is I would copy this make an Anno Domini folder and then paste this into that folder now what random kits is it's basically kits that are free or kits from producers that aren't really famous and their kits are good enough to keep but they may not be the best so that's what these are like these 9200 kits they're not official kits, but they still have good sounds in it. So, same for these 808 Mafia kits. I don't know which one of these are real or not, but there's just a bunch of sounds that I like, but didn't feel like the need to get rid of yet. So, that's basically how I organize my drum kits. Now, let me show you how it looks in FL Studio. So here in FL Studio, as you can see, I have my drums here. And inside this folder, I have the the heat folder, the bundles folder, drums, and then the random kits folder. Same as I showed you in that uh, other screen. So, in order to get your drums to the browser here in FL Studio, you need to go to Options, then go to File Settings, and over here you see all these um, folder icons. Um, go to the next empty one and click the folder icon and then look for wherever your drum folder is um, as you can see I did it already and it's the first one here in the settings now since the drums are here I can easily access whatever I need to if I want to go and look for you know um, a Jake one sound I'll just open these and look for it or if I want to go to wave supply all the sounds are here and it's just an easier way of accessing um, the drum kits in the browser um, when I first got back into FL studio I was actually going from this folder um, and actually dragging every sound in while that is easy it's it hurts my workflow due to the fact I have to switch screens you know go to different windows but um, this new way of organizing has really helped and hopefully it helps you guys so if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more videos also hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of when I do upload new videos you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at heatwaves that's h-a-t-w-a-v-s same as my YouTube channel name. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace. Heat. Heat.